At a moment of war and deep division in the Middle East, a film co-directed by an Israeli and an Iranian is already a victory in and of itself. But the gripping sports drama Tatami, which follows a female judo champ whose career is severely jeopardized by Iran's government during an international tournament, is more than just a promising collaboration between two filmmakers hailing from opposing sides of a major conflict. Set during one nail-biting day at the World Championship in Tbilisi, Tatami, whose title refers to the mat where judoka fighters engage in combat, is both a riveting story of an athlete trying to achieve gold for the first time, and a searing political thriller where Iranian women are subjected to persecution, intimidation, and possibly kidnapping at the hands of their country's far-reaching authoritarian regime. Vibrantly helmed and performed, with co-director and can best actress winner Zaramir Brahimi, Holy Spider, playing one of the leads, the film is a win both behind and in front of the camera, shot in stark black and white by DP Todd Martin. The novice, who uses the Academy ratio to lend the drama a claustrophobic feel, Tatami bears some of the marks of classic boxing flicks like Body and Soul or The Setup, where a talented fighter is attacked by sinister forces outside the ring while taking a pummeling inside it. Here, those forces are the political operatives sent to Tbilisi to prevent national champion Leila Hosseini, the impressive Aryan Mandy, an American actress of Chilean and Iranian descent, from advancing too far in a tournament that could end with her fighting and possibly losing to the reigning Israeli champ, Shani Lavi, Liar Cats. Instead of throwing the fight for the mob, Hosseini is coerced to declare forfeit for the glory of Iran. This she refuses to do so, winning one combat after another, and thus deepening the pressure on her coach, Miriam, Amir Ibrahimi, as well as on her husband, Ash Golda, back home. Her decision transforms Tatami into a riveting tale of women versus men, athletes versus government agents, and freedom versus oppression. It's also an engrossing sports flick in its own right, and one with a convincingly femme-centric point of view. Layla is a bull in the ring taking out opponents with spectacular body slams, or whatever they're called in judo, that she seems to pull out of her hat. She's also a loving mother and wife, a fact that's put to the test when the authorities start harassing her family, pressuring her to give up before she reaches the last round. Miriam is under the gun as well, both as Layla's longtime coach and as a daughter whose father is quickly taken into custody, and possibly beaten, so that she'll act on the regime's behalf. The well-structured script, by co-director Guy Nadev and Ella Murfani, reveals that Miriam may herself have forfeited a tournament when she was at the prime of her career, making her inner conflict all the more nerve-wracking. The film's pressure cooker atmosphere builds to a crescendo as Layla gets closer to the final, surviving several beatings on the mat while government thugs, as well as the rest of her team, tighten their grip around her. Dynamic editing by Yuval or keeps the action on the move, cutting between multiple viewpoints including that of a concerned tournament official, played by Jamie Ray Newman, as Martin's roving camera takes us in and out of the ring, with the bulk of the movie set in one location. In your typical fight flick, an underdog like Layla would wind up prevailing against all odds, winning the title even though her government does everything it can to stop her. That the filmmakers opted for a different denouement is both a welcome twist and a meaningful one underscoring the grueling political situation both Layla and Miriam find themselves in. In Tatami, victory is less about getting the gold than about choosing whose side you're on, even if it means losing so much else in the process.